Hey guys, coming back for another game for you guys. Uh, this is the third game I've recorded tonight. So far I've had good money doing an all pick here. So possibly going to be able to pick up those heroes that I haven't been able to perform well. We're fighting Mega Baddies, so I don't know. Or might just do a different hero that I haven't played yet. I'm just going to look through here. They were all pretty, pretty terrible, so I could pretty much play anybody and be successful. So, let's find somebody new that I don't play very often. I could play a carry or something. Really, don't carry very often. Is it really fun to watch me CS though? Long periods of time. Probably not. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to solo mid Magnus. Here we go. Alright, screw your level one. Um it's gonna get me out of trouble. Welcome to our village. And I'm gonna go for the old. Frustrating. It's for the viewers. Touch, you know the game's up, right? Like we're in a game. Alright, so Meg's actually a quite capable solo here. I'm trying to close this thing over here. Ah, very cool. Alright, uh, I probably should have gotten the ring protection instead of Gauntlet. That's one mistake I made. But I just kind of focus on CSing here. I am basically just playing to go for a bottle. And once you get that bottle, you can abuse the casting. Twin Head Dragon doing a nice job being aggressive, but I don't give a shit. I do have regen and I am planning on getting a bottle, so as long as I focus on getting good CS then I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I kind of want to conserve my mana. Nice. I wasn't sure I was going to hit that one. So yeah, I'm going to kind of conserve my mana here until I hit level 3 and that's when stuff's really going to start paying off. Oh, that didn't work out. Oops, I tried to cancel that but it did not happen. So already wasting some of my mana. Alright, gonna start popping the clarities basically. At this point, I'm gonna be quite, con or quite concerned with getting last hits. Can't uh, do it with melee attacks, though, unfortunately, because I'll obviously get denied. So, yeah, look at the baddies in this game. Jukiro, that's the guy I'm leaning against. And here comes a lion. Apparently, he wants a solo. Or he's going to. Um, kinda weird. But kind of weird, I mean, fucking weird. Alright, so the most important aspect of Magnus soloing is that, bam, I got a CS and I did 150 damage to Kuro. That's basically all you gotta do. Just do it up. So, uh, oops, didn't see that. I'm gonna fail on that one as well, so, what of it? Alright, I'm gonna max Skewer and Shockwave. In the past, you used to go like Stats Shockwave, that was the build to be. But now that you can actually get more nuke potential at early levels, this is, this is this better, the better thing to get. To get my uh, clarity denied there, but not a huge deal. And he has pretty damn good base damage, I must say. So it's not really a big deal to be concerned about. He's trying to get a last hit. I don't give a shit. 
First blood. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I got my bottle. I'm gonna save my clarity for just a little bit here. The only problem in this lane setup is Shakira actually has a crap load of HP. So, uh, my usefulness here is gonna be a little bit less than normal. Grand Mag is picking up a regenerant. Nice little play there. Fortunately, I was not able to do a follow up. That's okay. Alright, so now I get to do beast amounts of last hitting. I want that. Yes. So, yeah, uh, Magnus isn't the most typical solo ever, but he's actually been fairly capable of soloing for quite a long time. So I know the rune is bottom. I'm going to try to spam all my mana to harass this uh, Jakiro while I can. He's super aggressive though. He's right, I only have one. Eh, looks like I did eat two breaths there. Look at that CS. Yeah, this guy's really bad. Need my cooldown, I can pick both of those creeps. Yeah, I can. Nope. Ah, shit. Shit. Are you kidding me? There we go. He does have five tangos, so he's not going to be in a lot of trouble. If nobody's around him, not make the melees. He is really cast happy. Oh. Alright, there we go. A little bit more harassment. Alright, so now I need to swing bot and get that rune. Do this. No time. So I'm gonna have boots coming to me. And I'm probably gonna go gank bottom when my boots come. Should probably save some of my mana though because I am gonna be wanting to. Let's do this. Alright, so I'm gonna bring my double damage to the bot lane. Reverse polarity is really expensive, so I'm pretty much going to be able to ult and shockwave once, and that's it. Looks like the rune is top. Alright, I'm going to pretty much burn all my bottle here. There might be somebody right around the corner, I think there is someone, wait a second. And here we go, let's get a spectre. Alright, easy cleanup, and that's what you gotta do as Magnetar. You gotta take advantage of your early spells. As I just did, so, um, yeah. Just got a huge advantage, killed the enemy carry. He's died once already. Uh, I'm sorry, enemy carry. One of the enemy carries. And my next uh, item that I'm picking up after this is going to be some treads. The reason you do this is kind of get into a semi carry potential with Magnus. This is mostly accomplished by uh, the Empower ability, and it's fantastic. It's, it's kind of like a Battle Fury, basically. It's a Battle Fury ability. Juggernaut doing some spinning here. Looks like he got the rune. Yeah, it's Jakiro picked up that rune. But I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna come do something. I am frozen. He's actually in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not really going to be able to make anything happen, so maybe be a dick. Yeah, whatever. I need to be in the same room. Alright, since, uh, since I did kind of jack that mid slightly, even though I had just as much right to it as he did. I'm gonna swing over here, I'm gonna get my strength treads. 
Alright, most importantly, I can switch to Int. Oh god. Still got those illusions up, but the, uh, the bottle's respawning, so... Or the rune is respawning. Alright. So I'm gonna keep my entrance on until I get to the, the rune spot. Fuck it, I'll pop this as well. Try to get the double kill. Uh, always uh, change your treads away from strength when you're using HP regen items. It's very important. Looks like the rune was possibly bottom. Not really sure. I'll probably end up swinging all the way down there. Just to check it out. Ricky Mario is in the mid lane now. Might be doing some. I might go for something cool like uh, Necro 3. It's not really standard, but. Against uh, Ricky Mario, it's not bad. And Necro 3 is actually just a really great item. Could pay off as well. It doesn't give me attack speed, but gives me damage and more mana pool, and that's awesome. This town is under attack. Yeah, this is the best Weaver build. Hood Vitality Booster is going to be really, really tough to kill. Yeah, that rune was gone. Not really sure why you pushed him towards safety, that's kind of weird, but... Treads and I'm auto attacking for that extra DPS. Switching to int treads when I'm casting. And that's going to continue our push. Clear out this catapult quick so their creeps are full time on the tower. There we go, and I'm going to clean that up there. Alright, Arcane Boots gonna keep my H or my mana up. Nice, he's gonna pick up and pale. Might be able to make something happen here. Yeah. Come on, bitch. We do have a Ricky. That was dumb. Shit. Alright, gonna switch to strength treads as I run. Important to juke through the trees when you're running from a Ricky Maru, especially. Our brethren's town is under attack. Yeah, I definitely got them all very, very low. But I think I'm gonna be okay here. Didn't expect uh, Ricky to smoke King again. I was just gonna back up and ult and see if I could make something happen, but didn't go down. Snow kill there. Comes the Weaver line, easy pickup. Man, fucking bad people. Alright. Hello. Welcome to our village. What did I say I was gonna get an Echo 3 or something? I'm gonna get Django first, and then I'm gonna get a Necro 3. there by me. Shit, I didn't see Ricky. Hmm. Must have gone the other way, possibly. Let's try to find him. How about right here? Found him! <laughs> yes. That's good. Good guess. This is definitely going on the internet now. 
was like, eh, this game's going okay. actually you're gonna land unless it's visible at the time. I know that if bugs are on somebody invisible, then you can see where the bugs are and therefore know where they are. Not this case. And they do my jingo now, so. Should have been in strength treads probably. That would have saved me. And I shouldn't have been I should have tried running. See that that's like the biggest thing that that uh the basically the only reason that Ricky rapes noobs is because they run away from him. And, and instead of just like turning and fighting him in smoke and you know, it's like fighting against my own natural trained instincts from fighting Ricky, you know, fight him out. Your team will help you. But not end up having overtaking big damage here. Kimara is still here, no boots though on him. Here we go. Monster kill! It's like, I don't want to steal that, but I'll do it. Whoops. It's gonna be dual breathing me again. Alright, so yeah, when I bottle, switch to agility treads, because then you have the least amount of HP and MP. And when I pop that bottle, it's gonna regen more when I switch back. So now my mana's almost capped out. It wouldn't have been otherwise. Yeah, here we go, a little bit of auto attack. Um, here we go, top lane. Uh, I should really get a blink dagger though. Blink dagger is just disgustingly good on Magnetar. Arguably better than a blink dagger on Earthshaker because it kind of. I mean, Skewer made a huge impact on Magnetar sucking less. That's for sure, um, but still makes a really big difference because you can miss those skewers in this way. I mean, you can set up, you can set up skewer, really nice skewers and stuff like that. You know. Now, what I want to do here, I want to sit within EXP range and see if I can get someone to come. Uh, we see us in this though. I don't know. I do have that invis rune, but I'm gonna go mid actually. I just clean this up quick. Forces are under attack. Who was that that showed? Seems like the party is over there, so I'm gonna come. Alright, switching the treads. Rubik. Rubik is such a good hero. Nice job, nice block. Apparently, Invis is going to get popped awfully soon, I think. I'm just going to pop her right now. That's what they think I'm on. We'll see if this actually works out, though. We have vision on the high ground. It would be kind of stupid to have to be aggressive though. Alright, I'm gonna initiate as soon as they initiate. I'm gonna be a counter initiate, is basically what's gonna happen here. There we go, that worked perfect pretty much. Yeah, that was well organized. 
fuck yes. <laughs> yes. Fuck yes, I am. Alright, so we pick up a Rax there because we had retardedly good initiation. That was that was really fantastic. That was like perfect combo. Oh, are you gonna even fight some more? I'm gonna buff him a bullet with give him some last hitting power. it up that bad. That's frustrating. Looks like Ricky's gonna get a kill. Oh! 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 oh I'm sorry, that was, uh, that was actually Ricky flying in the air. I'm dying. Weaver gets here. He's got his relic in my bottle, and Hello. I'm going to pick up one of these. That looks good. Alright, I'm gonna keep my treads on int for a bit here. Oh, okay. Almost not gonna be effective. Alright, there we go. Cleaning up some kills. I can get my blink dagger here, but I'm actually completely out of mana, so. Mana! Mana! Switch! Yes! God, that helps so much. That seriously gives me, like, a ridiculous amount of mana there. Alright, don't have my ult yet. Um, what was that? 10, 20 seconds away, then I can do a blink ult. Blink Skewer. Alright, hell yeah. What a fast game. Holy shit, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Jesus, I have 18 assists. Uh, those guys are really bad. But uh, that's how you solo mid Magnus. It wasn't a super good example. Usually it's a little bit more fun when you fight low HP. 
end heroes, like Lion or something like that, or... But Magnus really isn't that bad of a soul hero. It's really not that bad. And uh, if you play him correctly, it, it does take... You know, there's not a lot of margin for error. That's the problem. You know, if, if you lose some kills, if you die a few times, it's not looking good, and it's kind of tough for you to farm up. I mean, even there, I did good, and it took me forever to get that Blink Digger, so it can be a little bit questionable playing him sometimes. So um, if you do want to play him, though, that's the best way to solo him. I think soloing him is by far the best. I don't go for the dual lane. It's not fun. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys.